My name is Mariah Amato. Um, I'm an illustrator from Las Vegas, Nevada. I graduated from BYU, Idaho with a degree in illustration. And I chose illustration not knowing what it was, not having any idea what it entailed. I didn't know where I wanted to take it, but I knew that if I didn't go to school for art or design, I probably wouldn't find something that I wanted to do and school would have been way harder for me. I remember my digital illustration professor told us to draw a self-portrait and I was so proud of myself because I did this really photorealistic painting of myself that I took from like a photo that my sister had taken of me and I you know, in terms of like photorealistic and if it was the right colors and things like that. Like, yes, it did look like that. But I remember my professor just tearing it apart and going, this is like, you, you, you painted something from a photo. You basically just copied the photo. Like this is like low, like it's high quality, but this is low quality in terms of creativity. Like where's the creativity if your brain isn't coming up with any of the work? You know, it made me think like, yeah, like, do I like it? Not really. Like, I drew it because it looked like the photo, but yeah, it's not very creative. And I vowed at that point that I would find a way to make my art look like it had a personality without just looking like a photo. It's really easy to kind of think in your head, like, this is realistically what it would look like. And it's hard to get out of the frame of using reference as like something that you're stuck to. But once I broke out of that and realized, you know, you can make someone blue. And as long as you make someone blue and do it convincingly, it looks great. Thinking about a story where it's like, I can help someone and she can see her story realized. I think just that motivation of I can help a little girl have her dream come true and her characters like come to life. I think that's just something that's really genuine. And the fact that she wrote it herself and I mean, she's so young and she won a contest, I mean, that's really cool. In terms of like self-worth, if you relate that to this book, it's kind of like we can get so focused on this thing that we want to become. Like I want to be better at X, Y, Z. And we forget that like we're valuable right now. Like we have all these skills. And if we fail to realize that we do have value, you know, we can lose sight of it and get kind of lost. And Agnes, you know, kind of feels really lost in the middle of the book. She's lost all of her money. She's like, this is... I mean, what am I gonna do? I don't have a costume. And then to realize at the end, like, no, I had a costume all along. Like, no, I had this worth all along. Like, this was great. I just needed somebody to kind of help me realize that. I think that that's relevant to, to everybody. Mm -hmm.